I think there's a big misconception among the people and the community is that, you know, cannabis does not have any adverse events, you know, and then, but we are not against cannabis and we are not promoting cannabis. We just want to do a research just to show the public that what can happen if they consume cannabis with the type 1 diabetes, especially in particular. I think that we, in our research, show that, you know, in this people are mostly the daily consumers are having the more problems. And mostly we believe that it's related to the gastric mobility problems, motility problems. So basically the cannabis decreases the gastric motility and triggers, uh, you know, the nausea and vomiting. So in DKA, your blood sugars go up first, then you get ketosis, then it triggers the, the GI symptoms such as the nausea and vomiting. But in hyperglycemic ketosis related to the cannabis hyperglycemic syndrome, which is a part of the cyclic vomiting syndrome, the first thing is triggered by the GI problems.